Hey guys, welcome back to part four and final part of Star Trek's featured episode, The Davidians. This is finally going to be completed. What we are actually now doing, we're heading to the uh, Bepi 113 system because the next mission we'll be dealing with is called Night of the Comet. Talk to Franklin Drake here, or whoever your contact is, and you get to be able to actually survey the rewards you get, including some nice weapons. A Federation Type 3 Phaser Rifle, a Type 2 Phaser, and of course your Klingon Disruptor Pistol, which are all nice. Of course, there's no damage per second because this thing sh fires quickly. So, it's more of a personal, uh, personal preference, whatever you want to go with. So, yeah. Anyways, we have to go through the uh, Bepi-113 system. So, let's recap what we actually done. I have showed successfully how to actually get the uh, Cunning and Guile accolade for the Federation. And that's basically Cloak and Dagger. Just Cloak and Running, actually. If you had the operative, you could have gone through better. And here we go. And yes, we are actually going to be cloaked as a Klingon D7 battle cruiser. And we are going to do this slingshot maneuver. This is actually fairly easy to do. Just don't mess up. It's literally what you need to always keep in mind. Don't mess up. Yes, hug the edges. And don't worry about hugging the sun. There's no actual damage in the game yet for that. Like I said, yet. And we are now here. Yes, yeah, 2265. Oh, yeah. In fact, 2265, isn't that, um, meh. Yeah, I could think of a few years on that. Alright, let's go ahead and fight him. Reuben James is going to be hunting down Klingon vessels, and we are in a Klingon vessel. Oh, I forgot to equip the, uh, the, uh, the weapon. You know, the, uh, Right. For those who are wondering, this is the final combat that everyone wanted. And before we actually do beam down, oh, uh, huh? Okay, you're a weird game. All right, yes, that's much better. More damage. Okay, ops. Yes, they could use it. Let's go ahead and beam down. Alrighty, let's go ahead and fight some Davidians. Okay, once you're done with that group, you... Is that? 
Yes, it is a bar fight. You're going to have to go in this massive brawl of a bar fight. At this point, everyone thing is at stun. Oh yeah, lots of fun in this one. Okay, bar fight has been successfully quelled. Yes, go throughout the rooms here and defeat the uh, Davidians. And I will showcase like so. Well, don't exactly feel so lonely about watching all this sped up. It does get rather long and boring for just sitting here watching me going around shooting things at normal speed. This is just to give everyone something to watch. Now, if you're wondering where they're at, you know, for the last group, it's the room that you actually came in from. It's where you need to go. That seems about it, right? Remember that group that we didn't actually go to yet? Well, yes, we have to go face him. All right. Go ahead and uh, bust a few into this door here. Stupid door. And face this guy and all his associates. Yeah, he can be rather annoying and he can knock down if you're not really that well equipped your bridge officers and yourself quite easily. Make sure you have hyper sprays in that uh, psionic shield so that you take less damage from him. And there you go. Ah, oh, that net blue is starting to hurt my eyes. Go ahead and talk to Lieutenant Commander Montgomery Scott. They changed his eyebrows again. And his face. Yeah, they changed his face. Anyways, you go walk with him. And of course, as everyone is knocked unconscious all over the place, some of them, yeah. Okay, you need to talk. Now that we actually went this far, let's go ahead and talk to Cassidy. Unfortunately, I'll tell you right now, she is not going to be feeling well. In fact, she needs a nerve tonic. The nerve tonic she needs is actually a... Uh... Yes, a nerve tonic is what she needs. Unfortunately, we're going to need to talk to Scotty first in order to get that. How do we get it? Out, Scotty. Well, we t we actually find out what she likes from the drinks, but it's part of the thing to talk to him, and then we get to uh, get the options. Okay, here's what we need to get. Once I get over there. Okay, you pick hot, sour, a pick-me-up, a stemmed glass, and a drop of honey. And you have yourself a nerve tonic that looks like sorry and bla uh, brandy. Give it to her, try this. Good, 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 and good. 
Now that you have it, let's return it back to Scotty and transport back. Yes, if they were wondering what the hell happened to them, well, it's called a stun. <laughs> okay. Now that we have it back to him, let's beam back to the ship and deal with the comet. Unfortunately, you're not going to be dealing with the comet, you'll be dealing with, you guess it, Akiya's Kuv and D7 Battlecruiser. At this point, the game has changed it where you can only do so much against the enemies anyways. It used to be in the parts of the game where if you actually try to uh, continue firing on them while they're knocked out, you could destroy them and uh, truly end the game horribly for you. And you had to redo the entire missions because you have to go and uh, do something about that, you know. And this is where the boring part comes in. Defe destroy the comet into uh, micro meteors and deal with that. But each time you break a fraction, you have to deal with the the ship, you know, the uh, enemy vessels coming up. And guess what? Do this several times and you'll be able to actually uh, uh, get the mission completed. Go ahead and make yourself some popcorn. This is actually going to be a bit of a long fight. And good thing I'm doing this at times 5 uh, normal speed. Otherwise, this will take at least 10 whole minutes. And longer. And I can't talk for that long. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. But hey, get some popcorn, something nice to snack on, and enjoy the show. Also, too, if you're doing this yourself, you will understand this is a very, very long fight. Very long, very tedious, and very boring. And of course, yes, with the interruptions of actually fighting other ships, this mission is still rather boring. Here is where things get tricky. You cannot have the IKS Kuv actually ram you. Literally, you cannot. If he rams you, he is destroyed and you cannot complete the mission. But he will stop, so there's the good thing. Alrighty, once you complete the mission, you can finally return home and truly end this series of missions. Overall, if you're going to do that mission to actually get that accolade, I suggest you just do it once. If you want to get the refitted uh, beam ray set, don't do it. <laughs> it may be a good set, but it's rather annoying. So, eh, well, whatever. People will have their own things. And there you go. That's how you complete the entire thing. Well, I will say one thing. This has been rather fun. At least in that standpoint. The mission can be quite long, but overall, it's a good feature series. If you're going to get anything from this series, the only thing I should say is keep the the Proton uh, prototype. One, it levels with you. Two, the chain arcing ability for its secondary. 
It is phenomenal. Also, too, the personal shields actually absorb psionic damage. That's actually a keeper, especially effective when you go against Udin. Uh, the Charlock Panther is a good one to have as part of a collectible. And if you're going to do uh, Knight of the Comet, then you can do it just to get the Klingon pistols and the uh, Type 2, Type 3 uh, phasers that is available for our rewards. Well, I will say one thing. Thank you for watching, people. And don't worry. This was, indeed, Episode 3. It was just a four-part uh, episode sequence. And I'll see you guys next time on Episode 4. Now, of course, if you feel cheated about that, don't worry. I can easily change the uh, numbering sequence. It, it would not bother me. I'll catch you guys next time.